What is up guys, Fios here, and today I'm going to be showing you a cool way of making sounds uh, using the playlist and using basic waves or filters and stuff like that. Okay, so basically, uh, just pop open a brand new massive new sound, and uh, just record yourself a nice little saw wave. So Edison. Okay, so if you wonder how I just did that, I have a video on recording sounds, uh, just check that out. But yeah, anyway, uh, <clears throat> so yeah, record that, uh, you know, normalize trim, shove that in the playlist. So now what do we have? We have a saw wave, and that is awesome. I mean, I've been doing really cool sounds just with <clears throat> playlist-based things. So uh, now what you're going to do is paste another um, copy of that sound in the playlist. And uh, just use the alt, uh, alt, you know, ta um, function, I guess, on the keyboard, and move the uh, second waveform a little bit to the right. So now you get a little delay effect. Uh, if we listen to that, I'll actually reduce the volume so it's not too loud. So this is what a normal saw sounds like. This is what a that sounds like. I think that's really cool. Uh, that's only one of many things you can do. So um, since this is a unique uh, reoccurring waveform, this is really cool. Because you can basically uh, hold on, let's start with making the second um, waveform un unique. So now we have number one and number two. So now we can edit number two without affecting number one. So since this is a reoccurring waveform, uh, you can definitely just do some uh, inversing. Make this sound a little bit like a square, I think. I think it's a square. Uh, let's just check the waveform thing with candy. This is a... Oops. Um... Let's just determine the note of that. That's a C, so let's just update it to C. C0. Okay, so yeah, this is basically like a, a square right now, just because we inversed it and changed the phase of it. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, try to get a cool sound, I guess. I think this is really cool. This is almost like sync. Okay, so let's just, um, you know, mess with that a little bit. Um, maybe I'm gonna automate the little pitch and have it bend down or something like that because it's really fun So yeah, you can definitely just do cool things like that Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is turn the pitch thing down all the way, you know, just It's just I'm just showing you guys things you can sort of do just with basic waveforms So now both of these are <clears throat> in their individual track and what you can do is uh, like distort it, compress it, you know. I think this is really cool just by itself. Um, let's get rid of the low mid area. Okay, this is really cool. Um, next thing you can do is definitely just uh, pop, start popping in some cool effects like phaser, flanger, um, chorus is a cool one, uh, even vocodics, you know, eventually. And just just make sure that the the sound stays like stereo like just make sure it keeps a good dynamic range there you go and also make it make sure it's clean so don't do too much distortion on top of reverb type of thing um so yeah let's see. i think this sounds really cool actually um what we can do is just um maybe get a maximus and uh, hold on let's just do Okay, that's a little multiband compression. Next thing you can do is just have a filter or something like that. Because this is essentially, this is becoming like a serum where you can basically add as many effects as you want. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna... So this is basically exactly like Serum. You you have two voices as your you know source sound and then you can make your own type of sound. Okay, let's go. This is, uh, I believe Skrillex did a few few sounds like that in this type of way. In more of a playlist way rather than like, um, you know, rather than like a, a NVST type of thing. So yeah, that's one thing you can do. That already sounds really cool. Um, you can always clean it up a little bit, you know, with a high pass at the end. And I'm going to show you guys something even cooler. Uh, since we are in a playlist, um, and since we have exported everything into audio, we can just do the same thing with our sub bass. I don't know if this is uh, low enough, um, or if we should go to lower. Okay, let's go lower. Okay, so 
Let's go like that. Little. All right, I think that's cool. Maybe, maybe I'll go higher after all. Okay, there you go. So now I have this. I can record the little waveform there. I might reduce that a little bit more. Okay. So there you go. I'll record this waveform. I think that's long enough. Okay, so tr um, normalize trim. We'll shove that back into the playlist, and now we have a sub layered. And that's awesome. I think that's really awesome. All right, so once you have that little sine wave in there, you can give it a track. And uh, what I like to do is combine the source sound with a sine wave like we just did there. So you have imported the sine wave, and then you can put in the same track as your other one. So I believe this is what's going on right now. Track 9. Yep, exactly. So, And then next thing you can do is just uh, lower, you know, low mids, and then um, multiband compress or whatever, you know. Uh, I like to multiband compress with Soundgrizer. It's it's just easy and saves time, so whatever. So yeah, that's the thing I like to do. So now you get really cool waveforms, and what do you do with that? Well, you have two options. Actually, multiple. I'm not going to name all of them. So you can either uh, shove that straight into Serum, which is awesome. Uh, you can resample it inside the playlist and do more of that stuff, which is also awesome. So uh, let's do one of those, I guess. I'll uh, just add a flang. Yes, I, I like the effect of that. Okay, so let's just record that, I guess. So this could easily be a wavetable. Uh, I think it's awesome. But we're actually going to mess with a little bit of phasing stuff. Okay, so we'll um, do a delay, make unique, and uh, reverse polarity. I don't know what that's going to do, but whatever. Okay, this is pretty cool. Let's um, see. This is a very obvious delay. How about we detune it as well a little bit? So it does like a uh, unison type thing. And then I'll do... 42% uh, left for that one, and then 42% right on that one. So this is like a serum type of uh, detune, and uh, or actually any kind of de like stereo detune. Actually, okay. So now we got that. I'll limit it. So actually, not. Nah, I won't limit it, but I will record it like that. Bing. Okay. So there you go. That's a cool little thing. It is stereo now. So. It's up to you what you want to do next. You can obviously shove it back in there, do more effect processing, that kind of thing. Uh, but I just want to show you what we can do with Serum, uh, just with those kinds of sound. So I, do, I did record it it's right here. Okay, so now what we're going to do, open up Serum. Uh, I like to drag it and import it as a pitch average because I don't really do um, pitch uh, modulation when I record these sounds, usually. Okay, so now that that's in, um, you know, you have this little waveform, which is very awesome. Um, and you can definitely just um, start, you know, doing the morphing. So I like to do uh, zero fun phase, cross fade, gain separately, normalize, I mean. And then I, I'll do, you know, a little, uh, I'll go through the wavetable like that, like really fast. That's one of the things you can do. You can do so many things. And then uh, another LFO for volume and filtering. So that's a cool thing you can do. Uh, let's get a little bend. Hmm, okay. Okay. Okay, I might do that actually. Okay, this is a cool sound. Okay, so we're gonna do two voices, unison, detune, automatically stereo. Um, we're gonna do gain on the multiband. Okay, I'm gonna put the pitch bend range up there. So this is automatically a growl because you know it's it's like a very weird squelchy wavetable with bend plus <coughs> damn bend plus minus. So yeah, there. And you can layer your sub bass, noise, which is fun. Um, I'm gonna put the uh, LFO2 on the level for the noise. Okay, and next thing I'm gonna do is put a high pass on everything, basically. Just, um, just a gentle, I guess kinda gentle.
So yeah, that's kind of like stuff you can do in, inside Serum. Uh, more things you can do is EQ. That, that type of thing. More filtering, band passes, high passes, you know, that kind of thing. And um, Phaser playing a chorus. Those are fun. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Oh, okay. okay I, I guess I can't reset this thing. Bug. Okay. And distortion as well. Distortion is amazing. And lastly, reverb on this sound. And yeah, there you go. I'm not going to go further than that. This video could be two hours long if I kept going. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but I, I'm going to try to get back into that. Um, yeah, you guys have a great night, and take care. See you.